Come down, hands and feet. Okay, what I want you to do. Okay, just hands and knees, I should say. What I want you to do from here is arch the back, look up. Okay, then roll the back, get your chin down on your chest. Okay, so arch your back, look up, just hold for a couple of seconds. Roll your back, put your chin on your chest for a couple of seconds. Okay, just nice and easy, just flexing and extending the spine. Okay, just getting a bit of movement into that spine. Another five seconds. Okay, from here we are going to lift one arm and leg, okay, and then hold for a couple of seconds and bring it back. Okay, so lift one arm, one leg, hold for a couple of seconds and bring it back. Again, nice and slow and steady. That's it, okay, and relax it there. From here, I want you to look up at the ceiling, okay, and reach up as well. So rotate up, look up at the ceiling, hold for a couple of seconds, bring it down, come up to the other side, and then just hold it for a couple of seconds. Try and find that extra couple of centimetres each time. Make sure you're looking up as well, make sure you're looking where you're reaching. The body likes to go where the eyes, eyes are. Lovely, okay, popping up into a press up position. Nice and slowly, I want you to drop your hips and then push back into your heels. Okay, nice and slowly, just holding for a few seconds at each end. That's it, slow and steady here. Okay, and just drop onto your knees, give your arms a little shake out there. Right, okay, from here, Press up position again, one leg up, I want you to stretch up to the ceiling with one arm, okay? Put your hand next to your foot, roll over onto the inside edge of your foot, okay, and stretch up to the other side. Okay, so one leg up, inside arm goes up, comes back down, roll onto the inside edge of your foot, okay, and look up at the ceiling. Slow and steady here, slow and steady. Nice and easy. Control the movement. That's it. Shake your arms out whenever you need. Okay, another 15 seconds. So try and finish. Okay, on an equal amount on each leg. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one, and relax there. Okay, stay where you are, just give your arms a bit of a shake. Okay, we're gonna go back to hands, hands and uh, knees again. So, what I want you to do from here is we're gonna start, okay, activating those glutes. So I want you to do a fire hydrant. So you're gonna bring your leg up to one side, hold for a couple of seconds, back down. Bring your leg up to the other side, hold for a couple of seconds, and back down, okay. Off you go, off you go. So left and right, again, slow and controlled. Okay, lift that leg up, hold. Okay, bring it down. Lift the other side up, hold. Okay, couple of seconds, bring it down. Nice and easy. Okay, alternating legs here. Nice and relaxed. Okay, just switching on these glutes, okay? Glute medius. Just reminding the body where it's there. <laughs> okay, feeling a little bit of tension in the hips as you do this. Okay, that actually glute medium is working. Nice, nice. Okay, from here, press up position. Nice and slowly, shoulder taps here. Okay, so just switching on that core now. Keep your body still, okay? So don't let your body 
twist, keep the body still. The only thing moving is your arm. Really slowly, really slowly. The slower you move that arm, okay, the harder the exercise. So slowly move the arm. That's it, slow and steady, slow and steady. Keep it going. That's it, like I say, the slower you move the arm, don't just drop it down, slowly up, slowly down. Another 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, lie on your backs. Here we go. You're going to lift your hips, squeeze those glutes, and then lower back down. Okay? I want you to hold for about five seconds. So lift your hips, squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and lower. Okay? Keep your toes off the floor, just your heels on the floor. Okay, just your heels on the floor. Up and squeeze. And slowly back down. That's it. Squeeze five seconds. Count nice slow count in your head. Okay, slowly lower back down. Don't drop to the floor. Slowly lower back down. Nice. Okay, coming back again. Hands and knees. Here we go. Back into the fire hydrants. Okay, so leg up. Hold for a couple of seconds and back down. Leg up, hold for a couple of seconds and back down. Keep that going under control. Okay, so slowly up, hold, slowly down. Try not to drop the legs straight back down. Okay, up into press up position. Here we go. And again, slowly tapping your shoulders. Slowly, slowly. Okay, resist the twist, okay, resist the twist in the body, keep your body level, okay, don't let your hips twist, keep that body locked, okay, hands moving slowly here, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and last time on your backs, here we go, up, hold, five seconds, slowly back down. Up, hold, five seconds, slowly back down, okay, engaging those hamstrings, engaging those glutes, that's good guys, three, two, one, and relax there, and relax there, fantastic, okay, have a little breather, okay, if you've got some water, have a sip of water, wipe your lips, okay, don't gulp it, Okay, give yourself a stitch. Okay, so we're going to start off with some calf conditioning and some ankle conditioning. So what we're going to do, okay, just watch for the time being. We're going to go up on our toes, okay, and walk slowly forwards, okay, up on your toes. Once you get to the end of the mat, or just wherever you're working, okay, up on your heels, and then again, slowly back on your heels, slowly back on your heels. Okay, once you get to uh, where you started, I want you to come on the lateral side of your feet. So you're just going to lift the inside edge of your feet off the floor. Okay, and then just walk forwards, okay, on that lateral side of your foot. Okay. Now, when you get to this end, you're going to reverse it. So up on the toes and walking backwards. Okay, and then we repeat the sequence. Okay, calves, heels. Okay, the lateral edge. Right, off we go, guys, off we go. Couple of minutes here, so up on your toes, walk you forwards. Nice and slowly, nice and slowly, no rush here whatsoever. In fact, the longer you can stay up on your calves, the better. Okay, and then up on your heels, keep those toes off the floor, or feel a bit funny. Okay, walk you backwards. Okay, working that tibialis anterior, okay, that runs down the front of your shin. Okay, then we're on the lateral border of our foot, okay, and we're slowly walking down, okay, keeping that inside edge off the floor. Nice, once we get to here, back up on the toes and we start again, calves, heels, okay, that lateral edge. So you can see I'm really taking my time, there's no rush here whatsoever. Nice. 
Now walking back on the outside edge of those foot. That's it. Keep it going, guys, in your own time. Like I say, calves, heels, okay, and then the outside, outside edge of your foot, okay. Walking on that outside edge, okay. Just building a little bit of uh, strength endurance in the ankle, okay. Just putting it in those stretch positions, okay, to strengthen, okay, the muscles and ligaments in the ankle, okay. Obviously, we're up on our toes, working, okay, that gastrocnemius as well. Soleus, with muscles in your calves. Obviously, very important for running. That's it. Ankles, feet. Okay, first point of contact. Okay, taking a lot of force as you run. Okay, guys, and relax there, relax there. Okay, just have a little breather. Have a little breather. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Okay. We're going to start off now uh, with a little bit more work on the hips. So what we're going to do from here, okay, is I'm just going to stand on one leg, I'm going to bend, okay, just bend slightly my knees, okay, so I haven't got a straight leg. From here what we need to do is you're going to tap forwards, backwards, to the side, to the side, back to the centre, okay. And again, bending the knees, forwards, backwards, okay, to the side to the side and back. What I want you to concentrate on, okay, is stopping any wobble in this knee, okay, the, the leg you're starting on, try and keep that knee, okay, nice and stable, nice and stable, okay. So your hips are having to work really hard here, okay, all those hip stabilizers, okay, to stop you moving around too much. Right guys, off we go. Alternate sides, alternate sides, so four on one side, tap, 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 okay, change leg, four on the other side. Keep that knee bent, keep that knee soft. That's it, that's it, we're good, okay. So just nice and steady, like on side on here. Okay, you can see, just tapping the floor, okay, with my, with my foot, okay, I'm not putting any pressure, pressure on it. Okay, so it's just a tap, just a tap to the floor. That's it, four on one side, four on the other. Keep it going in your own time. Okay, whenever you want to, you can stop, shake your legs out, okay, and then go back into it. So nice and steady, tap, 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 change leg, okay. 30 seconds left. That's it, nice and slow. Nice and steady. 20 seconds, you get a couple more sets in. See how far, okay, you can get your leg, okay, without losing your balance. Three, two, one, and relax it there, guys, relax it there. Great stuff. Okay, so we're going to move on now to some low level plyometrics. Okay, so really what we're doing here is skipping. Okay, and plyometrics, what we're trying to do here is increase our tendon stiffness, okay, increase uh, the stretch shortening cycle. So we have a, a process by which we use elastic energy in our tendons, okay. Uh, it's called the SSC, the stretch shortening cycle. Okay, plyometrics have been shown um, to increase uh, its usage, okay, so. Uh, when we're running, okay, you can almost think of it as bouncing, okay, on our tendons, okay, so there's loads of elastic energy going into those strides, okay, which is one of the reasons why uh, we can run long distance, okay, it's because of that elastic energy. If we're just using muscular energy, okay, we wouldn't last uh, very long. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off uh, with some pogo jumps. Now, pogo jumps, okay, imagine you've got a skipping rope down by your side. And it's just nice and easy, okay, just tapping, tapping your feet on the floor. We're going to do 15 seconds. Now, when you land, I don't want you to keep yourself right up on your toes, okay? I want you to let your, your heels drop, okay? Just brush the floor and straight back up, okay? So you're not, you're not just up on your toes, okay? Your heels are coming down and then straight back up. 
the, the aim of this is to, is to spend as, as least time on the floor as possible, okay? As least time on the floor as possible. Okay, after we do that, we're gonna go into skaters, okay? So skaters, not really a plyometric exercise, more of a stability exercise, okay? So I'm gonna to push to the side, okay? Hop to the side, balance on one leg, hop to the other side, balance on this leg, okay? If you need to, you can put the, the foot on the floor, okay? So you can tap that foot on the floor if you want to, okay? If you can, okay, keep that foot off the floor. Keep that foot off the floor, bend your knee, okay? And push laterally side to side, okay? Like I say, really good uh, balance exercise, also really good, okay, for that ankle stability. And then we're gonna finish off, okay, with some A skips, so we're gonna have one leg up in the air, okay? I'm gonna bounce twice, okay, on each leg. Okay, nice and fast with the leg change over. Okay, and again, okay, just like the pogo, pogo hops, okay? Allowing my heel to come down, okay? But nice and springy on that leg. Right, okay guys? So we're gonna start off, <laughs> excuse me, we're going to start with the pogo skips, okay? We are going to do 15 seconds. I'm going to reset the timer. Three, two, one, let's go. Pogo skips, okay? Nice and easy, okay? Bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. Good job, good job. Okay, and relax there, shake out. Okay, skaters, side to side. Off we go, okay, so nice balance here, nice balance. Bend the knee as well. Don't land on a straight leg. Good work, good work. And relax, okay guys, one leg up. Okay, off we go. A skips here, two hops each side. Good work, five seconds. And relax there guys, relax there, okay. Back into those pogo jumps. Off we go, back into those pogo jumps. That's it, nice and springy. As soon as you hit the floor, straight back up. And relax there, okay, skaters, three, Two, one, off we go, off we go. Keep those knees bent. Pushing side to side. And relax, one leg up. Okay, off we go. Good work guys, good work. And relax there, once more through. <clears throat> and off with the pogo jumps. That's it, nice and fast. As soon as you hit the floor, straight back up. And relax. Skaters, side to side. Off we go, bend that knee. That's it, so keep your centre of gravity fairly down on this as you land, land, bend the knee, okay. And up there guys, once more on these A skips, three, two, one, here we go. There we go, there we go. Five seconds, three, two, one, and relax guys, and relax. 